Michael Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com here and today I am going to talk about uh, a very very cool seminar uh, that the absolutely unbelievably awesome Joe Felisco uh, very recently did uh, on TomlinHarmonicaSchool.com. Uh, so Joe Felisco is an amazing harmonica player. He's also an amazing harmonica customizer. And one thing that he really specializes in is pre-war harmonica styles. And uh, a lot of this kind of playing is things like train and fox chase harmonica playing. Uh, he is he is the, um, the font of all knowledge on that style of playing. And he was very kind to do a uh, guest seminar all about getting started playing train and fox chase harmonica rhythms. Uh, so let's have a little listen to what he was teaching us. Breathing from the throat is one very extreme way of doing the train. You're learning to do it from the throat, which is going to help you develop a big round sound when you play the sound that to me is characteristic of many of the old country blues players or the chicago style blues harmonica players the chicago style blues harmonica players the other absolute other extreme way of doing the train which will result in a smaller sound a smaller tone is using your tongue somehow to articulate and the best articulation for that is saying the words and when I'm doing that you can hear there's very little sustain it's a very sharp crisp percussive front of the mouth attack on that so my tongue is definitely stopping in restricting the flow of the air inside my mouth on that. Let's try that for kicks, starting out with the whistle again. So exhale first. Now with the tucka. So these are the two extremes because the T sound is the most front of your mouth, the sharpest uh, consonant articulation, uh, at least that I know of. So the tick, 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 this sort of train will allow you the advantage of going very fast. You can go blindingly fast with this articulation. It also is brilliant in that it works in a band situation. So if you develop good enough breath control and rhythm, you can do this sort of articulation sitting in with a band if they're doing a song like Mystery Train, for example. You can maintain that articulation with a band. With the, with the harmonica, of course. Very, uh, it's very nice. 
the the other extreme way the articulations that i use most commonly are are hoo hoo ha ha but you have to be sure that there's that little coughing mechanism in there. there you must be hearing that kind of coughing otherwise you're breathing too much those are the two most extremes uh, for the train articulation if you you use like a G sound or an H sound when you're doing it that these are kind of like in between kind of sounds for getting a train articulation uh, if I go on stage as a solo performer and I'm going to do uh, a unaccompanied harmonica train imitation I'm going to definitely incorporate lots of the open throated because that's going to give you your biggest harmonica chord sound if I'm playing with a band, any of the recordings that you've heard that I'm playing with Eric Noden in all in the tunes that we've recorded that are using the harmonica train imitation, then I'm always using the T. You could practice a lot of these, especially the T sound, like with e without even using the harmonica. It just is coordination of how to articulate with your tongue um uh, so mm, are there any questions all right i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did uh, i'm going to be working on a lot of that stuff uh, for the next few months probably maybe even longer um it's pretty pretty in-depth stuff and uh uh, yeah, you've got a little bit to work on, but if you want to go deeper and watch the whole seminar, uh, then you can check out my online harmonica school below, uh, where you'll get access to that seminar, as well as uh, a bunch of other guest seminars from people like Adam Gusso, Liam Ward, Will Wilde, Ronnie Shellist, uh, among others. Uh, and you'll also get access to step-by-step -step curriculum from beginners up to advanced intermediates. You'll get feedback on your playing from me. You'll get access to a weekly live Q&A session where you can ask anything you want about harmonica. And you'll also get a bunch of other cool resources to work with. So if you want to find out more about that, just click on the link in the description below or click the little link up here. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, before you run away, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I put out a new harmonica video every Wednesday and I wouldn't want you to miss out on next week's. Take it easy. Happy harping.